have a monkey in your pants? Alright folks, how's it going? This is um, a bit of a investigatory video, is that what I could call it? For you guys curious as to how something is affecting you. Now obviously we all know, um, not that long ago recently, um, YouTube flipped a big fuck off copyright switch and um, everybody's videos that again spammed left, right and centre I should say with copyright claims particularly for um, video game music, that seemed to be a big problem of it, but um, even things that were under supposed fair use policies and whatnot, created a massive shitstorm across YouTube, Angry Joe had a shit fit, fucking Games 31's recently just fucking spat his dummy and had a massive shit fit about Nintendo claiming something, but 9 out of 10 times we know that um, the publishers of these games know nothing about the, the copyright ID claims that are being put in be put on the videos, I should say, by YouTube. It's all a big, massive, fuck off automated system that's just, it's like fucking, it's like Skynet going absolutely batshit bonkers, tits up. And obviously, YouTube's, or Google, I should say, aren't really gonna fucking do anything about it, I think, because they're keeping the copyright people happy. And as long as they keep the copyright people happy, fucking Google's happy, YouTube's happy, they're left alone, sort of thing. But Curious how it's affected you guys. I know a lot of people have had a hairy fit about it, but from my point of view, what I can see is the only reason it would really affect you, um, unless you got a copyright strike on your channel, apart from that, the only way I could really see that it would affect you is it would put an advert on your video, right? Is that a big deal? Depends what how you play this YouTube game. For me, no, it's a big deal. Um, for the people that monetize their videos and who make an earning out of it. I know certain people have maybe stopped doing video game uh, gameplays with music in it. Um, some people, just because they're being extremely cautious, but other people specifically so, they can still monetize their videos, which I think is fucking retarded, excuse my language and whatever. It's daft. Right, I might come back to that. I need to juice. <laughs> but where am I going? I'm sort of waffling a bit here, but oh, how's it affected you, right? Give you an idea. Well, I think it's affected me. Let me see. I've got my video list up in front of me. I'm not going to put it on the screen for you to see because I can't be bothered. What's happened for my channels? Um, I had a music match on how to replace your NES 72 pin connector um, that's fine and for the Games Master fan commentaries the content was flagged as Channel 4 where the copyright holders and that's fine they are the copyright holders I'm using their materials of property that they created fair enough I'm commentating on it but if they want to have adverts on my video because it's their material that's Perfectly, perfectly, perfectly fine. Um, one thing for me where it's gone a bit tits up recently is my oh my god, I shit my pants outlast on the PS4 video. And um, the reason I'm saying that is there's also been a lots of cases where you've had scrupulous copyright or content ID claims where some company or group or something who's got absolutely nothing to do with the video or the content that you created are somehow trying to claim it. I know it's happened quite a lot and that's a bit fucked up sort of side of things. Um, for example, apparently a part of my Outlast video which I'm looking at the screen just now, visual content was administered by Step Record SPL. So they're claiming copyright to the video content of the gameplay. So if we go to Step Record SPL, right? Step Records, it seems to be some sort of YouTube fucking Russian or Polish uh, music thing. 747,000 subscribers. No idea. It's foreign. I can't even read what's on the screen, but that's beside the point. So they're not claiming the music in it because there's no music at that point in the game. They're claim claiming the visual content. Now that's obviously not possible because. As far as I can tell, Step Record SPL, or Step Records PL, Boland maybe. I just got that 
they had bugger all to do with the Outlast game, so I've disputed that. So that's one of the instances where um, somebody doesn't have copyright claim on something or try to claim something, whether that is them doing it somehow scrupulously or it's just YouTube's content ID claim, God tits up, I don't know. But like I say, the reason many people are having shit fits about this is because they can't make money off their videos or they might not make money off their videos if they include music. For me, if I use something, a video game that's got music, I don't own the right to it, and somebody wants to put an advert on it, that's fine. I don't have the right to say that they can't. It's it's their content, it's their material. Unless I was doing a specific review or whatnot, but nine out of ten times I'm not going to dispute it. And what I say, the reason I have a problem some people, or sometimes, is if people deliberately don't include music from the game. Not because they're scared to get a strike, but so they can still monetize it and make money. That's just, it's not why I'm, I'm all about in my channel, making money off the back of it. If you're going to do something deliberately so you can still make money, I can see why people do it, but I don't really agree with it. But anyway, it's a bit of enough ranting on that. But like I say, curious how it's affected you guys, if at all. I've had a few claims, like I say, um, from the Games Master fan commentaries, um, which were claimed because Channel 4 was a copyright holder, which they are, so I've not got a problem with that. I just acknowledge the claims, and they've got adverts on those videos now. Um, so that doesn't bother me at all. But are you in the camp where you're deliberately not doing things because you're scared of getting a strike? Because from what I can see, you've just got a content ID claim. If you dispute it, and it's, the dispute's not valid, then you'll get a strike if the other party comes back and says, no, I still want to uphold this claim. But 9 to 10 times, you'll get a content ID claim, you acknowledge it, you get an advert on your video, your video can be seen by full, whether it's a video game with the music as the game should be, or, or whatever. But, curious guys, like I say, a bit of a ramble, waffly shit video, my mouth's going all dry. But the question to you guys is, how has the content ID system from Google Tube and that they recently impl implemented and went batshit crazy. How is it affecting you? Is it affecting you at all? Um, have you had copyright strikes? Are you, have you had a shit ton of content ID claims? Do you think the content ID claims that you've had are valid? Um, have you disputed them? Have you just simply acknowledged them? Does it bother you? Does it make you maybe not want to put up a video gameplay, for example, with music because you're scared of getting a content ID claim? Or, or are you in the boat where you monetize your videos for that very reason, you're trying to work around it so you can still make money out of it, which I don't necessarily agree with um, to a certain degree. It's, uh, I don't know, YouTube and making money off it isn't my thing. If people do that, that's fine, whatever. But like I say, guys, very, very interested. Um, please feel free to put your comments down below. If you want to make a video response or not, again, please feel free. But as always, that was a bit of a shitey waffle talk out my face hole. But thanks much for watching guys and I'll catch you next time. Do you have a monkey in your pants?